Will you be having shark fin soup for a union dinner this Chinese New Year? Well, it might be harder to find a dish as more restaurants and hotels are jumping on the anti-shark fin movement. One shark fin supplier is stepping out to defend the industry, saying that shark fin trade in Singapore is well regulated and that anti-shark fin lobby groups do not have a case against them. This is a very old, old story. The environmentalists are going back and forth, you know, playing up the sentiments of the public. When you are discussing about cruelty to the sharks, life feeding and throwing back the carcass into the water, this is actually, you know, over overplayed. They are always driving the same message during our festival season. It's too lopsided. Uh, it's an old argument which has been addressed by the relevant authority. Mr. Fu's company, Sin Europe, is one of Asia's biggest suppliers of premium seafood, and he challenged claims made by anti-shark fin lobby groups such as Project Fin that consuming shark fin harms sharks. A very common argument that um, people have to keep shark fin is that. You know, not all shark species are endangered. How do we tell a sh uh, what species a shark fin is from? If I give you a shark fin from an endangered species, like perhaps the great white shark, and I give you another species, there's absolutely no difference. When it's dried, both are equally as yellow, both are equally as hard. You see, these fishermen, they know where are the endangered species. Like the great white shark, they have a certain habitat. Actually, the great white shark, the white sharks are usually found in the Australian coast near the Indian Ocean. Yeah. Okay, and, and the country already has laws to, to protect them? Yes, they do. Yes, definitely. People in the industry, they would want to protect their businesses. The managing director of one of the seafood companies in Singapore told the media that shark's fin sold here are all from sharks that are landed with fins attached. Now I did a check with AVA and this is actually not true because we are importing shark's fin from neighbouring countries like India, Malaysia, tai Taiwan, China, Hong Kong and these countries actually do actively do shark finning. These are all artisanal fishery from countries like uh, Africa or even India, you know, they are mostly you know, artisanal fishing, right? And actually, the main purpose of that is shark meat. That these are a cheap source of protein that the poorer people are using. In, in those days, there is no value for the fins. The main purpose is to catch the shark. And these are usually salted to be used later as a cheap source of protein. And the fins are all discarded. I've been there, I know. While Mr. Fu asserts that Singapore's shark fin is obtained by above-the-board means, environmentalists say that is not always the case. Next up, we find out if consuming shark fin causes sharks to be endangered. <laughs>